August 23rd and the carnage continues. Mount Jura has got fire on it. Last night was just backing down the hill. Would have been a perfect time to go in there and go direct. No, they're going to wait for the fire to come down to the bottom of the hill where they're going to have problems with it. Here's a different view of that fire up on Jura. This backside here has got some fire in it too. It's kind of working its way down the down the uh, drainage toward the road, which they acknowledged on the briefing this morning. But they are just going to let it continue to do that instead of stopping it. I just don't get it nowadays. This fire has too much potential for them to to do that. They should be getting up there and getting on it and doing some sort of suppression action on that, stopping that from continuing to burn along there. And the longer they let it poop around in there, the more chance they have for a wind event to come along and turn the wind around the wrong direction and start running toward the valley or toward Taylorsville. That's the thing that scares me about this whole thing. They're just, they're just not aggressive enough. Pretty windy today and that's not a good thing. Uh, wind's in our favor over here in Taylorsville, but I hope it's not blowing too hard over on the wind on the Janesville side. We've got dozer lines all over this hillside. These are indirect dozer lines obviously did not hold. Just goes to show you their tactical decisions are faulty. Putting in indirect dozer lines and then expecting those things to hold, that's just crazy. I'm sorry, but that's bad tactic. And uh, hasn't worked yet on this fire. I don't know why they keep doing it. This is just this fire is gonna burn until it run, either runs out of fuel or the weather comes and puts it out. Stops it spreading anyway. Here's what that area looks like from our house on um, Jura, Mount Jura. That's Mount Jura right there. August 24th. Fire still working its way down Mount Jura. They don't seem to be doing anything to stop it. It's just going to, they're letting it back down. It's burning pretty hot down in there in the drainage right in there. Um, probably running up a, a little drainage, a little side drainage going up Jura. Um, we'll see how this pans out. I, I just don't have a good feeling for them letting that fire back all the way down to the bottom. I don't know why they're not going direct. I mean, that's a backing fire up there on the hill. All along that hill up there, you the backing fire is low in, lower intensity. There's no reason why they can't go in there and put some line on that and get that, except that it's a big job. I mean, it would be a lot of work, no doubt about it. Much easier for them to wait for it to come to the bottom of the hill, which I think, unfortunately, is the deciding factor on their decision making here. August 25th, and uh, we're still um, dealing with the fire, it spotted over onto Peel Ridge yesterday, way up there in Genesee Valley, and this is going to make a terrible mess. It's going to go up into Grizzly Creek drainage, and that's just going to get worse and worse. I, they just don't seem to be able to do anything with it. I'm going to take down the flagging today from the triage and the this was a this pink flagging was marking this is a safety zone out here they had the gate open and let the cows out and 
Travis was fixing the gate yesterday when I came over last night. So, at any rate, the carnage continues. I'm on my way out here to the only place I can get a decent cell signal. I got a chair set up out here. Anyway, the fire's still working its way down Mount Jura. Last night I got some pictures that I'll post here. And anyway, they continue to dink around with that thing instead of going after it. I don't, I just don't get it. I don't like the way they fight fire nowadays. And I, I'm not out there on the ground. I shouldn't be so critical, but it just seems like we used to put fires out back in the old days, and now this is ridiculous. I mean, this has been going on for, I think we're on the 40, 41st day of this fire, and uh, there's really no end in sight. Spot to sit out here where I can get a decent cell signal. So, not exactly happy with what's going on. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not, I'm completely dissatisfied with what's going on, but we don't have any control over that, so such is life. <laughs> this is my phone. It's the only source of information that I have today, and um this is where the fire, this is the Beckworth Genesee Road. This is the road going up to Antelope Lake, going through Genesee Valley. Um, Tatersville is right there. This is the fire over by Tatersville, above Tatersville, on Mount Jura. But what happened yesterday was the fire got over here on Peel Ridge, which is this ridge right here. And this creek is Guzzly Creek. And I'm afraid what's going to end up happening is it's going to burn all the way up Grizzly Creek drainage. This is Guzzly Creek. It's going to burn all the way up Grizzly Creek drainage, take out the whole drainage. And if that happens, that's going to destroy some beautiful country. The way they've managed this fire so far is I don't see any way for them to stop that. They're, they don't go direct. They, I'm sure they're going to go way out here on the end of this. They got a they've got a they've got a plan to to stop it on the ridge up here, and all it's going to take is a north wind event, northeast wind event that's going to blow the fire like that, and it's going to go right over the ridge and into Quincy. So, it's just a continuing disaster and they don't seem to be able to do anything with it this blew out yesterday and i really hated to see this burn peel ridge peel ridge used to be a beautiful forested solid forested area i look at it, every time i came down from antelope lake i look at it and it's beautiful forest and now looks like it's going to be all burned up just like the rest of the forest all the way around us. Well, it's August 26th. Who would have thought that this would have gone this long? But at any rate, it did. So today, this area over on Mount, on, uh, Mount Jura, they burned it out last night. They actually had that in pretty good shape today. I don't think that's gonna be a real problem for Taylorsville, so that's a good thing. So there's one good thing that happened today. The bad thing that happened today is over here on this other side, right up in there, there's smoke coming up on the near side. There's smoke beyond that too, that may be visible in this video, but at any rate, uh, the smoke beyond it is on the east side of this, what they call in the um, grizzly spot. This side of the grizzly spot was hung up in the rocks for several days. It's been hung up in the rock, and there's a rock slide over there it's been hung up in, but this today, it came out of that rock slide and started going up toward the top of the ridge. And now, it's, so it's on this side now of the rock slide, and it's got some, it's got a solid fuel bed from there 
coming back this way. So the way this fire has been going, who knows what's going to happen with that. It's just, uh, it's, it's very steep country. They're, they keep saying it's too steep and inaccessible to go in there. So I don't know what they're going to do with that. Um, it's, it's really an ugly piece of fire that's really got some potential to impact Taylorsville. So for now, it's good. Today was really light winds. It's not windy at all. Most of the day it wasn't windy at all, and it's all good. And um, you can tell from the smoke going straight up in the air pretty much. But um, they're going to have to deal with that piece of fire that's on this side of that rocky uh, uh, that rock slide. And I don't know how they're going to do it. So They've got a dozer line that goes around Taylorsville and up that ridge and then around. But they're going to have to burn. If they let that burn out, they stand a chance of the wind shifting and it making a run toward Taylorsville and that could be a disaster. If they go in there and burn it, then they're adding, oh my gosh, thousands of acres to to a fire that's already almost 750,000 acres. So it's a sad thing. I don't know what they're going to do with it. Anyway, August 26, and we're still dealing with this thing. 29th of August. Uh, boy, this thing is still romping. It's taking out some big, big uh, acres there. And uh, it's burning out on Mount Ingalls right now. And that's uh, a lot of that smoke's probably coming off of uh, the. Grizzly Creek drainage, probably Turner Ridge, Peel Ridge, um, that area out in there, and um, it's gobbling up some country. The piece over here on Green, on uh, Grizzly Ridge, that's right up in there, has uh, continually moved backwards to the west, and uh, just isn't. Uh, moving very fast which is a good thing because it's uh, doing more of an underburn just cleaning up this cleaning up the undergrowth um, we don't get a complete wind shift here which isn't in the pro it isn't really in the forecast then it should just eat its way toward their line they have a line somewhere between where that smoke is and Taylorsville Taylorsville's right down in there so the 29th of August started on July 13th and there is no end in sight here's what it looks like going into town
the fire hall. There's the library. Canyon Dam. Still up. Store's gone. Oh man, most of the RV park's gone. The RV park is gone. Oh, that whole hotel's gone. Mm -hmm. Evacuation warning for Highway 44 out by Bogard. So the road going into Susanville, Highway 36, is closed. So they sent us out this way toward Bogard where there's an evacuation warning, which may be mandatory for Bogard. So here we are driving into what looks like a pretty good run just to get over into the Susanville area. It's going to be coming out just short of Bogard. So I just hope they don't end up closing this so we can't get back to Greenville. Okay, on uh, September 1st, this was the uh, extent of where the fire went where it burned over near Lake Davis and burned up into Squaw Valley which is right in here and Siegfried Canyon was right there anyway it was moving toward the escarpment um, then it um, on the morning of the next day that's September 2nd it had made a run all the way to the escarpment 
over by Black Mountain and uh, headed toward the mark and Milford back over in here so kind of missed Milford but since then it's taken out pretty much all of this area down in here below and the southeast of the of the finger in the uh, Dixie Mountain Game Refuge taken pretty much everything out and it's going to burn all the way over into the sugar fire scar from earlier this year so all of this area pretty much everything uh, southeast of the on the whole, whole plumus is going to be burned before this is all done and um, here's a map of that same area this is um, their map from the second and uh, it's a lot bigger now it's burned all the way over into the this is the fire scar from the sugar fire and it's going to burn all the way into that. It's going to take out all this country in the Dixie Mountain Game Refuge. Pretty sad because that'll make the whole east side of the Plumas, except for the area around Lake Davis uh, and south of Highway 70, it'll make everything else black and uh, burned. And it's just really, really sad.